Majesty. Ladies and gentlemen, it's hard to put into words what this day means to Imperial College. We will award the first honorary degrees to our honorary graduates, thanks to Her Majesty, who graciously bestows upon the college its new Royal Charter. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to be here today to bestow upon the college its new charter. Today, you renew your mission of applying your learning, discoveries, and innovation to meet the changing needs of society, industry, and healthcare. You will also, of course, continue to carry out the important task of educating the young people who will become the future inventors, discoverers, and leaders of business and society. And now we come to the conferment of Imperial's first five degrees. Professor Winston Wong had a remarkable career in business and was the founder of both the Grace THW Group and the Grace Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation. This is his fourth imperial degree. The highest until now being the PhD he obtained here in 1975 before he joined Nanya Plastics, the world's largest secondary plastics processor based in Taiwan. For the past 11 years, Professor Wong has been chairman and chief executive officer of the Grace THW Group. Throughout his career, Professor Wong has kept close links with Imperial. He is a visiting professor in our Institute of Biomedical Engineering, and he sponsors the chair in biomedical circuits. He also co-founded Future Waves Limited, a successful Imperial spin-out company, providing some of the world's lowest power digital radio broadcast semiconductor chips. For his considerable personal contributions to innovation in electronics and in education and to Imperial, I invite you, Rector, under the powers granted by the university to confer on Professor Winston Wong the degree of Doctor of Science. We have awarded our first imperial degrees, setting a remarkably high standard. All today's honorary graduates have made major personal contributions in terms of commitment and generosity to the advancement of science and medicine. We thank you all for joining us in our moment of history.